Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to route this fan. It's um, a very worthwhile thing to do because we can uninstall the uh, pre-installed bloatware apps that we don't want or the Chinese apps that are of no use whatsoever um, and basically improve the performance of the fan. So I'm just going to go grab the fan and we'll get started. Okay, I've actually uh, changed the wallpaper and the uh, the clock widget so it does look very much like the new uh, Sense series. This is uh, how we route the phone. So first off you're going to need to uh, download a couple of apps. Um, the first one is called Titanium Backup. This is the app that we're going to use to um, actually remove any of the, uh, the unwanted apps pre-installed on the phone. Uh, we can also uh, get rid of some of the Android services that we don't need. Um, I'd suggest you take a look at some of the lists that are on forums and so on about what is safe and not safe to remove. Um, obviously you'll probably start by removing all the, uh, the Chinese apps that are pre-installed on the phone. I personally don't use social networking so I can remove all those pre up space and uh, generally make the phone run that much faster. Okay, the second app you're going to need is Z4 Root. Okay, so once you've installed Z4 Root and Titanium Backup, first thing we need to do is go into Settings, um, Applications, and then down here you've got uh, an option for Development. And at the top of that is USB Debugging. It should be greyed out, so if we activate that, it will give us a prompt so to allow USB debugging so we OK that and that's got the, the green tick so we're ready to, to go with that. Right, back to uh, the apps um, and the first thing we need to do is actually root the phone. So open up the Z4 root, temporary or permanent root. You can try the temporary one to begin with if you're not happy about uh, doing a permanent route on your phone. Um, but uh, I've gone with permanent, so we're going to go with that. This will take uh, a little while. Okay, the phone's uh, restarting. This is applying the root access. Okay, we can check that we're rooted. We've got the super user app pre-installed on there. We'll then go into the app drawer again. And this time, we're going to titanium backup. Now, you know your phone's rooted because this app will not work otherwise at all. Um, you can see it's been asked it's asked for permissions which it's been granted and therefore your your phone is now rooted okay so what we can do here uh, this is only the the free version um, there is a, a pro version which you can buy uh, which gives you the extra features notably if we go into backup restore um, there's an option called freeze um, which if I, just as an example, click on the Amazon app, uh, what we can do is actually freeze an app permanently, or as long as we keep it frozen for, um, and that allows us to um, test whether it's safe to remove. So we can actually freeze the app, 
uh, restart the phone. If everything all works okay, then you're um, you're pretty safe to actually uninstall it. Um, if things don't work out, you can that will actually change to defrost. Um, in other words, put the app back. <laughs> um, but that's not included in the the free version. However, what we can do is we can actually back up the uh, the app using backup. Obviously, it takes uh, a little while according to the uh, the size of the app and the data. Right. Okay. We've uh, backed up the Amazon app. If we go back into there. Um, so what you would do once you've backed up the, the app is actually hit uninstall. And the app's now uninstalled. You can see the line through there. Um, of course the big advantage of this is that uh, pre-installed apps can't be removed using the standard um, let me just go back and show you obviously if it's um, a file you've downloaded yourself such as the Amazon app um, you can uninstall it using the built-in application manager uh, but what you can't do with that is actually uninstall the pre-installed apps or parts of the Android operating system and that's where the titanium backup really is the, uh, the business so if we go back there okay somewhere down here we've got a whole list of um, apps which I've removed from the phone uh, a lot of these were actually pre-installed on the phone this is one we've just removed the Amazon app uh, there was a Chinese one here have no idea what that is that's safe to remove Wikimobile Twitter Think Free Mobile, Weather Channel app, Social One, Social Light. Um, I've got no use for that whatsoever. Robo Defense is uh, one of the free games that was pre-installed. Uh, this one here, again, I've got no idea what it is. Ren Ren Account. Um, I did actually remove that, and the um, it's had no effect on the phone at all, so that's good. Uh, some of the uh, pre-installed wallpapers, um, MSN Talk, not something I would use. The mobile TV app, uh, you may may as well go ahead and remove that because it's an analog TV built into the phone, uh, which is of no use at all. Not anymore, anyway. <laughs> There's the Yahoo Messenger, something else I don't need. Market Updater. Um, I've tried numerous attempts at trying to get the new Google Play Store on this uh, phone and it won't have it at all. Um, it fails on the installation so obviously we can't update the market so we're stuck with that and uh, therefore no need for the, the market op updater app. Um, again some of the, the wallpapers. This is another uh, unusual pre-installation. Uh, again I've got no idea what that one relates to but it was safe to remove. Uh, here's a few of the, the other things we've taken out. Uh, the email app obviously you probably want to keep that depending on what uh, email uh, host you have. Um, I use Google Mail or Gmail so I don't really need the uh, POP3 access. eBuddy the desk clock, advanced task killer. Um, it can be useful to keep. Uh, obviously, this is an app you can download on the Google Market anyway. 
but from Froyo or Android 2.2 which this phone runs um, it doesn't allow automatic closing of apps so quite honestly there's little point having that pre-installed on your phone uh, simply because it doesn't really work <laughs> uh, the only way you can really stop apps working is either um, to force close within the, uh, the standard application manager or to uh, obviously remove it uh, there's one other 3D music as you can see there's still a hell of a lot on the, the phone some of these are downloaded apps obviously um, I haven't tried some of the other system ones um, this is a text to talk facility so you may or may not need that music app so really they're all the, the apps that you can remove safely or parts of the Android system you can remove um, that we're on the A5000 phone um, I can tell you now that having done that the phone is much more responsive works a whole lot better and it also gives us uh, a lot more memory to play with uh, this is currently running with around um, 80 megabytes free uh, which is very good considering you know you've got limited RAM so there we are we've got a rooted phone the process is reversible if we go into uh, Z4 root there we go we can actually reroute the phone if needed and we can also unroute the device so if you're not happy about leaving it with root access you can go ahead and remove all the apps make sure your phone's still working ok and then remove the root uh, and basically that puts you back to normal but with a phone that doesn't have hundreds of pre-installed apps that you're never going to use so there we are hopefully you found that useful uh, but that's me signing off.